Hey everybody, welcome to another cast. This time around, I'm not alone. I'm with your boy, Balanced. Yo. So this is a match that I or we got told is very, very special. This is Milan versus Nanda, game three of a best of three of the Not That Yet tournament in a Baltic mirror match on Punchbowl, as you can see. And oh boy, what an opener. Oh, three KTs. There's three KTs by Nande for mid. Dude, this is like fucking. <laughs> Whoa. I'm... Also, he. That was from Nande like... too. Very interesting. Yeah, probably just like very cheap purely for talent fighting, I'd, I'd imagine. Basically, like they're literally more shirts than chess with a 10 point wheel transfer. Mm -hmm. Also, Nan, look, look at Echo. <laughs> literally nothing by Nande. Yeah, Only. That's like. I think that's just because Nande plays so much Soviets and a lot of he, He's like. Soviets, as you put fucking in a lot of the areas. Yeah, but he's and, just rolling Milan. He's like middle. 80% of his forces in mid. And... Yeah, KT going around from Milan. Nan, also uh, Milan. Mila literally started with no tank at all. Now he bought his first tank, a mod, for mid. Yeah. Two stack of... Wow. AT fucked up Nanda spawn a bit, but not really too much. That's not a big deal. At the moment, like, he doesn't have control over him, and that's really bad. Mm -hmm. But Milan does have a foothold in Charlie, and, like, pushing Charlie is a lot easier than pushing Delta, right? Syria coming in. Got one hit on the mod. Yeah, no smoke from Nande, even though he has three. Oh, there it is. He has there three is. mortars, though. Yeah, so three really, more. <laughs> I don't think I don't this think is, he's gonna have any trouble. This is from such a that. typical Nande thing: spamming mortars, spamming it's, KTs. It's so fast-paced at the start, too. Mod mm, out from it's Milan. Nanda... I think the two-point CV um, that he bought at the start was probably a bad call in the scenario because mm -hmm. he really needs the wrestle back control. Of yeah, he can take Echo, but if he loses, uh, but basically I mean, Nande can push him to his two pointer as long if, as he can. If he trades Bravo for Echo, it's not too bad because I think getting just a foothold back in Bravo is not too hard from Milan's side because, uh, yeah, from Milan's side because he does have the forest next to it. Yes, but he can only get a foothold probably in that little tiny town to the left. Yeah, maybe get a counter if it cap if it com if it comes to a stalemate and he gets just that foothold and cat while. Not losing Echo? That's that's good enough. It's not just that. Well, like, Nande has a spike covering um, fucking, um, uh, well, the route into Delta, at least one of them. And he can push into Delta really easily now. Because yeah. Because he controls middle. Which is huge, because if he loses the, like, if he, like, gets a CV in the two-pointer, and, like, everything like that, he's going to have a tick advantage. Even yeah. with Echo and Bravo. Yeah. Or and, and now Milan lost his full load in Charlie, and is basically has nothing in Delta anymore. A rough start. Rough start for Milan. Yeah, nope. Neither player <laughs> Not, has a fob. Yeah, which is why it's very... It's, it is interesting to watch KTs just land to get refueled by three supply trucks, but... <laughs> I just, yeah. And now this is epic. Oh god, there's some mods. Yeah, no, uh, there's, the mods are gonna fucking engage each other middle, but yeah. I mean, as long as both are micring, neither are gonna... Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, the Syria did the from, job. Yeah. But I mean, even then, like with spikes in the towns, it's gonna be so tough to get back in there. I mean, yeah, of course. Although I don't understand the choice of spados over like um other infantry, like pens well, and would be so. I hard. mean, for, for like ten points less, they are basically better, even I think, against infantry. And if you just want town if, fighting if, infantry, if if you want purely town fighting infantry, I guess that's a good choice. And I mean, with with Baltic, I feel like it's rather easy to fit them in. Like you want, like you want the spikes, you want the uh, the Panzer Yekari for the anti tank, and you want like one card of Yekari line D at least in a five pointer. And there's three cards. Then then you have two flex cards that you could do. They're better for killing infantry, but um, I mean the the launcher is pretty useful, especially like um, let's say. Like I don't, I didn't look at his deck, but like if he doesn't have Panzer Yekari in it, then for four he does, fighting, he does, he does, he does, okay, he does have then, like. Like, then I understand that, but I don't know. For me, yes, they're better at killing infantry, but I like the uh, launcher advantage. Like, yeah, but he, he does, like, for me, I have three cards of Vicari 90, and the only reason is because I didn't know what else to put in. Otherwise, I would use two, you know, and I just put in the third card because I didn't know what else to put in. 
It's. Uh, I feel like the Baltic infantry type is. I mean, yeah, you can do a lot of things. Here. Like for example, uh, my Baltic so, has two cards of Panzers. Except. Yeah, for example, yeah, right. So instead of having two cards of Panzers, you probably just has the second card of Spados purely for the town fighting. If you want my honest opinion right now, I'm I'm very confused how this game went on for forty minutes. <laughs> it's also I'm, none. Well, look, looking look at, at none. Looking at it right three now, stack I'm of very sissy. Confused. Three stack of sissy. Three yeah, stack and, and Jolly. Running around the map, <laughs> Milan's getting pushed into his two pointer. I, I'm, it, I, I don't, I don't know how this game went on for this long. This is. I'm, I'm actually surprised that Nanda hasn't sent out a single Edikois around the map yet. That's the only thing that's he, actually I don't surprising. Think he feels the need to. Maybe, but if he did, though, he would uh, probably be in dead. in one of the probably. tournament matches. I think. Or maybe it was just a match versus Mike, I'm not sure. I think it was a tournament, though. He literally started, it was on Plunging Valley. Nanda literally started with four Iroquois just to fly around into the spawn. Uh, I've seen a couple of things. I saw him put four squads of GRU and Esma Sign and IC spawn once. <laughs> the spawn route on Plunging. That was very, very interesting. And, and if you look at if you everything. look at Golf, the Golf spawn, it's perfect to do that as well, because you spawn literally next to fours. That's perfect for Iroquois. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't know, it is weird, but let's see. Nandi put trying to get into Delta, and this is like pushing Delta from this angle is just so awkward because around this town there's line of sight yeah. is just so unintuitive, right? Yeah, and the unfortunate thing is that he has the he can push like um, he can push much wider and try and push from the um from the town, from, his, from the two, yeah, from the town, yeah, he can push up. Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do with these uh, KTs moving up right now. Yeah, but right now I wouldn't like, uh, I wouldn't try and force a fight here in the open. Like it's not like there's too much stuff here. Nanda doesn't have enough. You should just like this Panzer car should have probably just stayed in the forest for now. Maybe bring it out later. Maybe, but I think I think he just wants to put pressure on like the whole two pointer so that yeah. Milan can't really focus. His, his units, like his helicopters that he had there, for example. And it kind of works, but I feel like the Wilks are gonna get side-shot by these Eddie guys. They are. They are. Or maybe not? Milan's a bit slow with no, them. No, they're dead, though. They're, 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 they're gonna die, they're gonna die. They can't escape. They, they, they actually can't Wilk escape. to Eddie guys. Yeah, like, they, they can't escape. Unless he kills these Eddie guys on the right. Dead. Nah, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah. He got the Eddie guys, though. Yeah. And yeah, he's got a really like it, this it, is a really bad position for Milan. Like the, mm -hmm. these uh, Panzer cars are just gonna cut off the reinforcement route. Mod is gonna his mod is now retreating back to the spawn and probably gonna move up to Delta. Yeah. Jesus, this is looking really rough for Milan. He can really... clear out this right side of his forest, but probably not enough time to save the CV. I don't. I don't know. I feel like Dante could be more aggressive with uh, some of his transports here, but considering how this KT on the left is literally completely out of ammo, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now he's like cutting off a spawn, basically. Just spamming a carry Nanda, but he doesn't have a tank nearby. Yeah, rough, rough, a lot rough of a lot of low HP Panzer the air carry. I think it might be, it might be worth to just. What Nande can also do here, once he kills the CV and has a strong foothold in Delta, if he wants, he can just push out, push Milan out of Echo because Milan, like he can, his reinsor, like his respawn route is like right there for the Milans. It's all the way back there. And Milan spent so many points on trying to hold Delta, even though it's not working, etc. Yeah, but I think he also would have to watch out that. Like, if, if he's gonna focus now on Echo, you know, obviously, eventually, he's most likely gonna lose Delta, right? And then he has to watch out that losing Delta doesn't also immediately get followed up by losing Charlie. Yeah. So I think yeah, that's... Maybe, maybe he just wants to keep the pressure there because, you know, he has to tick, and as long as he can just keep the status quo, you know, he's, he's gonna be fine. Yeah. See if he call from Milan and Foxtrot. I mean, he has to. You can't just let a plus two tick, plus four for the time being, plus two tick go off on him. Yeah. He has to, like, either make, he has to it's, use another it's also, or at least get the plus one. Yeah, it's also an awkward position, though, because it's not gonna, it's only gonna slow the bleed and Nanda is already ahead, so that's a very, yeah. very awkward choice for him. It's like, um, it's not a great call, but it's like, it's not a terrible call. Like, it's such a bad situation that he's in right now, almost 
He, he just needs stuff. <laughs> he just needs these, uh, anything to help also, him get back into. Also, Milan has no way, eh? No. But he has enough infantry, I think, to push Nande out. I think he has enough infantry. Plus the mod, yeah. There's like, hang on, how many three M1 wigs now coming in from Nanda? But Nanda needs infantry support for those. He needs infantry, he doesn't need... Well, I mean, he has a four stack of Penzia cards coming. I think that's good. <laughs> Nanda. Maybe... He needs the, the, uh, the rocket mig, too. Very interesting. Oh, Nanda, Nanda should definitely move up his spikes from Bravo to the, to the top of the town. I yeah. think he might be able to get line of sight up there. Yeah, he can move him into even like cheekier spots. Wait. If he wants, he could literally just take this Eriko Yakari and uh, Bravo, and then like with maybe like a KT, just literally walk it up towards Milan CV, <laughs> force him to buy something. Potentially, yeah. Syria now for the mod. If he can get line of sight, mod is mod is nearly out of fuel. Forty nine. He should honestly get a second MiG-21 and F if he doesn't already. That thing reloads so fast and Milan still is wow. no AA. Does he have the Hawk? Uh, let me quickly check. No, he doesn't have the Hawk. Hmm. Yeah, so MiG-21... I mean, I guess if the reload on this rocket plane is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it is. This is really good. I prefer a bomber like the Hawk. It kind of... Yeah. Kind of feels to say it's better for like you know against I think to uh, intercept immediate in uh, infantry fights, but obviously like if you want to snipe a CV, it's not that great. And it and it has like troubles against stuff that has like more than two armor. But it's looking so good at just stunning and shit. Not they looking they're very thin on infantry at the moment. Yeah, I don't know why he pushed up the wrong. Oh, the mod is dead though. Yeah, mod's dead. He lost his two M1 works. But I mean, at this point, trading the Wilkes versus the mod effectively, it's just gonna buy him time, and I think that's yeah. good for now. It's gonna help later when he brings out a super later in the game, I assume. No AA whatsoever from from Milan, which is kind of understandable yeah. because he needs infantry and ground units to push down the out, right? But at like, the same time, not having AA just keeps it's hurting them. him because these. Uh... It's like damned if you do, damned if you don't, right? If you buy AA, it's gonna. It's gonna slow you, your push down at the same time. Not having AA is also gonna slow your push down. Uh, he bought a MiG twenty nine and got one of the MiG twenty ones. The ASF isn't, probably isn't the, that bad of a call yeah. scenario. The ASF isn't that bad. Because of a call. AA can, you know, potentially he could get his AA sniped at the MiG twenty one, right? Yeah. No, the, the nice dangerous. thing about ASFs, is, the nice thing about ASFs is that like they can intercept stuff before it does any damage to you. Yeah. Since a and lot they're... of the game is like not losing shit at like critical points of the game. Like, uh, let's say um, the only way to prevent your mod from getting killed is by intercepting it with an ASF. And because you kept your mod alive, that actually allowed you to win the game. That's why yeah. I like ASF so much. And they're also like, they have like immediate effects on like AA, which has to yeah, arrive exactly. first, etc. And uh, they're exactly generally right. also more uh, consistent. Maybe yeah, not necessarily exactly. the MiG-21 against They're not the always the best call, the but they're a nice thing to have. Yeah. But at MiG-21 MF there. Again, and the thing is so good at sniping it. infantry and light armor vehicles. He called it back. Yeah, he evacuated it too late. That's both make you make twenty one dead because Nanda upvets it and only gets two. Okay, so Milan's taking his two pointer back. Is it not Finally, taking? yeah. Um, Nanda didn't. Nanda bought a back. CV, another CV for this. I mean, he kind of Somewhere. has to, I suppose, Go? for the two pointer. Yeah. Delta? No, he can't. No, get... he just um... bought it. Where else would you he put it in, right? He can't get back in. I, I guess like, maybe I he think... expects to be able to basically get back in any moment, but... Like, with a three-stack of a, a Panzer car and a one bloke? No, there's no way he's getting back in. Maybe... Uh, it's not It's not, It's not. not impossible, like... It's Milan, not impossible, Milan has only one Wilk. He'd need right? more than this. And what, what, what Nanda what, needs what... is a foothold. Yeah, he and needs a foothold. The thing is, I think what he should try to do with that KTs, those KTs, and maybe that's what he's trying to do now, is I think get into the town, now. right? Yeah. Because Milan is still that. not in the town. Nanda probably knows it since he has the KT there or had it there. So that's mm. still something that Milan isn't maybe quite sure of whether it's clear or not. Yeah. SU7BM from uh, 
Milan. I asked Let's him see. why I ran this unit, and he uh, just responded with, "I like more bombs." So you know, there's that, I guess. Yeah, it's. I don't know why you. I don't know the, why you the payload. The hawk, like but, the payload for seventy points isn't too bad, but the hog is also just faster. The, like, the so much faster. And that is, when you when you're playing. Oh, look at the forest like, of BTR fifty driving on the main road towards Golf. Honestly, they could just arrive there. If uh, this, please this tell me the bomber kills all this to shit. No, on it does nothing. Just, no, never mind. Uh, but the KT's just gonna shut it down anyways. Yeah. The grenade launchers are holding it up fast enough. It's oh, SU7 boy. doing nothing. Nice bombs. Very cool. The gas died that Nanda bought, but he now bought an infantry CV. There's one Eriko squad for Milan in the two-pointer. Could intercept it, but... Uh, yeah, it should I, be able I to think, unless I think Nanda that's pulls it happen. back. That's what's gonna happen. No, Nanda pulls it. No, yeah. I mean, Lands regardless, it. Nanda is not, not gonna be able to get in, like, hold this town for long. There's too no. much infantry. Panzer Yakari, two stack of Yakari, plus the fire support from the wolf. No chance. With a plus one, eight minutes left. That's 120 kill. points. So if you can one. keep up this, it should be a draw in favor of Milan. I think. Or maybe a very, very tight win, but I think it should be a draw. Hmm. With like he would have like 100 and 270 ish points, I think. I think at this point, non they should just cut his losses and try and make sure he like he doesn't lose Charlie. Put some infantry there. Probably and see if he can try and displace. I think what Nanda needs up. needs to do is just snipe one CV or counter cap briefly. I think that's what he needs to do to win. Yeah, but I don't know. And it's, also, obviously, uh, not losing any CVs himself. Yeah. <laughs> also, Nanda has the town right in front of golf. <laughs> he bought his V. He actually bought his. No. That's yeah. it's it's Nanda time. Just no. fast from your heavy tanks and your AA down the main road. It's no, Nanda time. <laughs> please, that, I want this to I work. I mean, do it yeah, again. Yeah, I, I know, right? I I think it I might want work. This to work. The question: If this works, this is gonna be. Milan doesn't have the immediate units to answer that. He needs to, to call it. in he has first. Two shitty bombers, and then he's got an M2 Wilk. But that's gonna one take shitty bomber. Time. Yeah, and then he's got an M2 Wilk. No, he's actually got to just drive the Wilks at the CV. Two stack of KTs as well. Milan doesn't have anything to stop this. SS7B doing nothing. Literally fuck all. Oh god. Oh no. Is he smoothing his? How many oh, missiles M2. are these Wolks gonna have? Oh, the Syria! Oh my god. And the Sopal, the Sopal CV hunting. It's so close. Why should buy a second CV? Like, I buy a second one. What are you. Annie's oh, the Sopal. Win. Sopal with this shitty burst length. God, I hate that piece of shit unit. Is this how he loses the game? Oh, the TM2 will miss. Oh my god. No, the CV, no. it didn't stop it. <laughs> so, He's still, uh, it doesn't matter because he didn't buy a CV. But spouse, look, look at, look at, look at Nanda's two pointer. Up. Look at Nanda's two pointer though. What the fuck? Oh God. The Spados, the Spados are going to snipe this, the, the other CV. Milan has no spot. Yeah, but it's, it's three minutes left, right? The, yeah, yeah. Milan realizes it. Oh, or he does not. I think the Milan should I mean, just move his CV. Thinking. He should. He should. Game of the year. He game should move his. Year. He should move his CV back to Fox. Back to Foxford, I think, and just tick with plus two KT's instead. He's trying to run down people now. Oh no, he's gonna get the CV back in. No, Milan wins. The but Nande, can you snap Delta CV? Hero, hero. That M two will the. Yeah, hero. But was. Nande, hang on. Yeah, Nanda had no mortar left, right? He what he needed was smoke for the CV. If he had smoke on hand for the CV, that would have looked yeah. so much different. Yeah, classic three planes from Milan, trying to run down the KT, and that's GG. Wow, I actually didn't. Mm, I did not oh boy, Milan. I did not expect Milan to win this in the end. I'm glad I was wrong. <laughs> Infantry CV next to Delta trying. <laughs> Look at <laughs> oh, my god. oh god! So, what a what a god. shit show! What game was this of the that series? Is, that is that is that was the third one. Oh, was this was the one. final game. Oh, that this, was this the game final game. Of the year. This is game of the year. That that reminds me. 
That reminds me of the fifth game of a best of five in the finals of uh, of the was it the Nerf DLC tournament against Milan, where I played Scandi. Yeah, oh, and he yes, played Commonwealth also on this map. It wasn't quite. It wasn't nearly as fucky as this one, but but it also was quite a roller coaster for me when I played it. And Jesus, I Christ. love clown games like this. Wow, and well, one takes the win. I too, when I'm not on the receiving end of this kind of shit. It, that was that was such an under game. Except I didn't expect the only thing win. it the only thing it missed was Nande sneaking around Eric Hoys. Yeah. I suspect I haven't watched the other matches yet. I suspect that maybe Nande tried it in the other two matches and maybe it didn't work in either or something. And that's why I didn't try it here. I'm kinda curious. Because um, because from this spawn it would be like so like and with with such a wide map it's also rather easy to do, I'd imagine. I wanna watch the um uh... Any of the games where Nandi played Soviets, because I like watching him play Soviets. It's very interesting. Yes, yeah, a very interesting place. I played one match recently versus the Soviets on highway, and he just, in the end, he just fast moved down the highway with like a bunch of T80s and I had no light of sight, and it just came up, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nandi is. Very and cool. I'm so glad he came back for this tournament. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it, right? Or do you want to say yeah. anything else? I think that's it. All right. I hope you enjoy the game. We did. Yeah, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Yeah.